Uh, the Oxford community, of course, uh, as the sheriff mentioned, still healing from this tragedy, but they are not alone. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney shows us how communities from across Metro Detroit are continuing to support these Wildcats. If you walk in downtown Oxford, you'll find a sign just like this one in the window of almost every single business. Although that shooting happened almost a year ago, it's something people here are still thinking about every day. From the hair salons to the local pub, support for students and families in Oxford is evident. How are you guys? Good. As the Oxford High School shooter entered a guilty plea this morning. It's going to be 567 when you're ready. The victims were heavy on the minds of people inside Evergreen's Coffee and Bake Shop on South Washington. It has been on everybody's minds. And um, I have three grandsons who are um, 16, 13, and 11. And they think about this a lot. A traumatic event that's been hard to move on from. I think you think about it as you send your kids to school, especially yeah. for me. I, um, I just, I pray every morning that I you know, take my daughter to school, just that she's protected, that all the kids are protected. As the one year mark of the tragedy approaches, the community is now looking down the long path to healing. And they're going to need people who are going to be watching for those trauma triggers to happen and to be able to do intervention in those situations. And it's it's going to be a process. And as difficult as that process has been, community members have shown up for those hurting in every way possible. If you drive around the different communities nearby, you're still going to see a lot of the Oxford Strong signs up everywhere, whether it's in Clarkston or Ortonville, Brandon Township, Rochester. An effort they say everyone in this community should be proud of. In Oxford, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.